Hey guys, and welcome to the video, and I hope that you are feeling awesome. All right, guys, I have been at work today, and I've just finished my shift, and I've got myself changed because we are going out on a little adventure, and the place that we're going to is called a reservoir, and it's called Blithfield Reservoir. I'm gonna go out there today, have a little look around, and see what wonderful things that we can see. So uh, let's get on the road and uh, get to this reservoir. guys I couldn't resist it I actually set up a time-lapse in the car and uh, hopefully it turns out to be a good video because if it does it's definitely going on the page in the channel it's giving me a few ideas of uh, other uh, time-lapse videos I can create it's just absolutely beautiful and area to come fantastic oh there's a bench just there guys how do I get to that bench? Well, we've got a gate here. It says private property keep out and it's got a padlock around it, as you can see here. Because there's no chance even getting through that. So how do you get to that bench? So you must have to go all the way over to that area, guys, and walk along here. But yeah, I must admit, I've only been here for a bit and it's absolutely amazing. I know there's a sign here and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna share it with you. All right, where we are is here. We've walked sort of a little bit over here. But just to give you a bit of perspective how big this reservoir is. It's absolutely huge. So that's that side of the reservoir, which is like huge, right? And we got this side of the reservoir over here. Now we'll be coming back to this area and you looking around all of the accessible parts of it in a future adventure video. So we just crossed the road here. So I look at the video side. Oh, I do like the look of that. The tree growing out the water there. Many, 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 many years ago, all of this, what you're looking at now, was land. Well, anyway, guys, I'm gonna make my way back to the car, sit down, have a bite to eat, have a drink, and then um, just chill and take in all the uh, ambient sounds, I suppose. So guys, now I'm going to be making my way to another location here and starting up another time-lapse. Now this is a different perspective of the view that we were uh, looking at. Now we were just over there guys, in that area there. So what I've done now is I've set up the time lapse video just in there, facing over in that direction to see what type of video we can get. I have got to say I've definitely enjoyed my time today and I'm definitely looking forward to coming back here on a future adventure video to show you guys a bit more around the area. I absolutely love the sound of birds in the morning. Now literally every single time I leave my house guys, I step outside and I'm like, wow, it's like the ultimate nature's tune. That's all I can say. However guys, I've got a nice long shift ahead of me today. But anyways, let's get to work, eh?
Wow, guys, I can honestly say I picked a fantastic day yesterday to go out. I'm actually currently doing a 12 day straight at work and I've just gone over a halfway point. So let's just say I've got a couple of more days to go and then I have literally three days off, guys, and I can't wait to have a bit of relaxation. Well, I'm gonna go and meet up with Yvonne because we've actually finished at the same time today, which is great. Well, guys, it looks like she's got let off the uh, tills and she's probably made her way upstairs. <laughs> that was, that was absolutely that. brilliant timing. I literally just turned around and there she is. Oh Look my at that. She having a bit of a what have you got there? City a life. city life. City life. Wow, guys, the weather today is absolutely spot on. I've got to say one thing. I am loving the interaction I'm getting from my beautiful viewers. I uh, had a gentleman come in the petrol station this morning and he was like, you're John, aren't you? You, you know, you're John from John's Adventures, you do the videos. And I was like, yeah, I am. He goes, I absolutely love your videos. Keep it up. And I've had quite a few people say the same thing to me. Keep up doing your videos. And for me, it's just absolutely awesome. You guys, I found out some interesting information today. We are having a KFC in Rougie and it apparently is going in this area here now I was speaking to a colleague and apparently they've uh, already got staff you know all ready to uh, come here and start work I know it's a little sort of a statue sort of stack of blocks I don't know what it is I just wanted to show you guys now what is the purpose of doing that eh? ain't got a clue wow guys the Sun is literally behind all of that fog when me and Yvonne was on our way to work this morning this entire area was really really foggy and it looked absolutely so cool but we looked up at the sky and the moon was just so piercing and beautiful but the problem we had it was i couldn't get a good picture of it it was just like oh it frustrated me but anyways i showed you yesterday this bit of land where i think they're building kfc so they put up all of these this morning all of this fencing around here but i will keep you in the loop Many people are absolutely looking forward to KFC coming here and uh, do you know what, I might actually take part in uh, maybe a few KFC meals, maybe, not too sure. But anyways, I am now done today and I can't wait to uh, get home. So here we have you on. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful sun there guys. How cool is this today? But anyways, we are now in town. Uh, Yvonne's going to pop to Nationwide to do some businessy stuff. We are going to be having a look around town and then heading home. Now, I really want to sit down and do fudge all, but I might go out in the garden. I might go out for a walk. I haven't got a clue right now, guys. guys we are now done in town and, uh, gotta be honest, I am in loving the weather today. Is it nice today for you? It is, yeah. Now it is. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I already told the guys it was really, really foggy this morning. Yes, yes. And you could barely see, and I'm, I really wish I did start, like, record some of it so you could see for yourself. But Look who we have. We have a cute little linksy loos. Hello there, boy -o. What a nice welcome home. I was looking at the comments I had from last week's vlog, and uh, somebody said that they're looking forward to seeing uh, this garden being done. And to be truthfully honest, I'm looking forward to showing you guys. It'd be nice to be able to come home from work, sit outside in the garden, not have to worry about doing anything, and just sit there and chill and relax. How cool would that be? Uh, I gotta confess, I was indoors, literally going, should I go out, should I not, should I, should I not? I am taking you guys to the brook. Now, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to get there without hurting my legs. And the reason I say that, guys, is I've got shorts on, right? Usually, going through this area there where we're going, there is a lot of brambles and I don't want to get myself scratched up. However, guys, this looks awesome. Now, that is easy to get down, guys. I've got a deer. Now, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, you can see this. That, what I'm circling, guys, is a deer. How cool. I might get a better angle of it. Oh, wow, guys. I am so happy. And you never think that there would be a deer in this area here. It's off. It's gone. Where did it go? It's, it literally just bellied it into that area there, guys. I've just figured out, guys. It's literally right there. The area where I'm circling is where it's just ran to. There it is. You can see it. Hello there. Oh, there it goes. 
I can't believe I managed to capture that deer, guys. That has really, really made my day, if not my week, honestly. But anyways, we're now off that path, and we're now going under a bridge here, guys. And just above us here, this bridge is for a rail line, which takes you in and outside of Rugeley. And to be truthfully honest, what's really strange, guys, is soon you come out of there, guys, and literally, this is what you see. And it's absolutely amazing. I took a slight detour. The brook is just down over there, guys. We'll get there in a minute. I haven't been to this area before, guys. So this is all new to me, right? And just over there, guys, I have seen like, all bits of bricks and stuff like that, right? Slab of concrete and what looks to be half a manhole covered sort of lid. And I'm like, what is that all about? Who took the time to move the bricks to that location? Because I looked on the map and there is nothing that was in this area, not a building at all. And if there was a building in this area, it wasn't that long, you know, for it to be there because it wasn't included on the maps. Just notice an area of water is being fed into the brook here and it's get me uh, curious to know why is it there last time i came to this area no word of a lie you were able to stand on this bit here and not have any water on your feet it's got me questioning why is it coming in from this direction here when the brook is over here so what i thought was today we'll have a little look in this area here to see where the source of this water is coming from unfortunately guys i couldn't go to the location i wanted to get to it's literally just like going around in big like loops. Oh, I didn't realise there's another one there. There's two of them. Got that one there. You got that one there. I love to sort of glide around like that. How cool would that be? But anyway, speaking of gliding, it's time to get on to the next area that I want to look at today. Do you know what? I really do envy the people that live in these homes here because they have the brook right at the end of their garden, guys. Now that, for me, would be absolutely idyllic, honestly, guys. Genuinely, the first time I came here, I thought this is a real person, but it's not. It's like a mannequin sort of just left there. Anyways, I'm going to head on back home now. Well guys, I decided to have a little bit of a pit stop before heading home. Did you just notice that train go by? I was sat here and I was thinking, how many trains actually go past? So I thought, do you know what, the next one that go by, I will record it. And to be truthfully honest, if you like trains and everything, this location is absolutely amazing because you can see quite a few going up and down that rail line. I'm so, so looking forward to showing Yvonne the video of the deer that I managed to capture earlier. Because guys, honestly, that has been on, you know, my to-do list. But Anyways, let's get home, eh? And I wonder if we can see that deer again. It is here. It is in there. Where I'm circling right now is where it is. You can really not see it on camera, but I can see it in real life here. As I was saying that last bit, guys, it literally just got out of that area and ran across over to here. So it got me thinking, guys, should I stay here for a little bit longer to see if it comes back out? I've been sat here now for a good amount of time. The deer did come back for a little bit, went off to a different direction, and I do not know, guys, honestly, if I managed to capture it on my other camera. I'll be honest about something, I really have enjoyed staying in one place, being trying to be ultra quiet and uh, seeing what I can record. It's now that time for me to pack everything up because I do have to get myself home. Wow guys, that sky is amazing. However, I'm trialing something new tonight. Um, I've got the... Uh, camera set up just there guys I, you can't we're just about to see it just there and i'm going to see if i capture the moon coming up see where the moon should come up guys is in this area here hopefully right i set up the camera in that area there guys in hoping to see if i could capture something fingers crossed that'll be absolutely awesome Literally every single morning, guys, it comes in here, and uh, I suppose 
is my assistant for, you know, do my hair, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. But guys, say this, I am absolutely looking forward to actually having a few days off. I have literally been doing a 12 day straight and tomorrow would be my 12th day. And I just cannot wait to be able to chill, relax after it. Well guys, I decided today I was gonna to come to Trent Valley Railway Station in Rusley. Um, I have to say, the reason why I've came here today is because this location is fantastic in the morning. Now we have got the beautiful moon up just in that area there guys, where I'm pointing. Oh, sorry, there, right? And then just over here we have the uh, sun just rising up over in that area there guys. But anyways, I'm going to make my way to work now and uh, I hope that today is going to be a fast day for me. I've got to say this, that I am looking forward to uh, getting everything sorted out today and getting myself home and to be truthful honest I just can't wait to see if I've managed to capture that moon rising I absolutely love the sun I really do I love it when it's nice and warm and everything and especially I love it when you're going home and you got the option to have a nice cold drink and sit out in the garden well this time next year guys that garden is going to be perfect to be sat in trust me guys but anyways I've literally just legged it back to the petrol station to give my colleague a birthday card so I would like to wish Debbie a happy 50th birthday and I hope that you have had a fantastic um, birthday last week because obviously my vlogs are a week behind a cute linksy linksy hey he's cute baby he's cute baby Oh, you're just so cute. <laughs> Roll over, Link's Haven. <laughs> oh my god. Weather right now, guys, is like, wow, it makes me think like we're like in June and July. However, guys, Yvonne's upstairs now getting ready to go to work. And then once uh, she's done that, so hopefully, fingers crossed, guys, she'll have a fantastic shift. And uh, it will leave me the rest of the night to get on with editing. Wow. Just like... There's no clouds at all. I uh, noticed on Facebook somebody put a picture up from a picture NASA took of the uh, UK right now. And there is no cloud, honestly, around it. It's just like, wow. It's like the clouds just like parted in that area. Well, it's now time to say goodbye to Yvonne. Bye-bye. We're just going to stalk you. Go on then. In your car you go. Get to work. Scattered all. <laughs> there you go. See you later. There she go guys, off to work. Wow guys, another day of beautiful weather, fantastic. And I really, really, really wished I was able to stay at home today and enjoy. But unfortunately, me and Yvonne have to go to work. Yvonne's upstairs now getting herself ready. I'm about to go ahead up and get myself ready as well. However, guys, this is my last day of my 12 day straight. And I can't wait for tomorrow morning to actually have a nice lie-in. Anyways, I do have to get upstairs and get myself dressed. That's me now ready for work. And look, we have Yvonne here. Hello. Hey. I forgot to mention to you guys, actually... This uniform that we are wearing, we're having a revamp because Tesco's has got new uniform for all of their um, colleagues. You're going to miss this uniform? I will, yes. You're gonna miss, I'm going to miss it. Eight years wearing it, yes. Well, I can say a good four years wearing this uniform. But anyways, we're going to get ourselves ready now to go to work. Just look at that blue sky, guys. Absolutely fantastic. Well, I'm waiting outside for Yvonne because I have finished and she's still serving a few customers on the checkout. But anyways, I got Yvonne some nice little tulips there. And the reason why I've got Yvonne some tulips, and I'm telling you guys, is because you don't need occasion to give your woman any flowers. And it's not always women that like flowers because I appreciate flowers. So it's definitely a bit of a stigma there, guys, that only females like flowers. Finally, Yvonne's out. Look who we have. Well guys, we are literally looking forward to getting home because this week has just been a long week for both of us. But unfortunately, this is where we're going to have to love and leave you guys for this week. So we both want to say a huge thank you all for coming by. It means the world to us. And 
always do your best to stay positive and scroll those negatives. Oh yeah, baby. And we'll see you guys on the next one. All right, all right. Bye, bye. 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 bye.